Hello! <coughs> Let's try again. Hello everyone! It is my pleasure to finally welcome you to the next installment of Let's Play Deus Ex. I won't lie to you, the delay has been almost entirely due to the release of Diablo 3. And while that is a fantastic game, I've got the urge to play out of my system enough to stop and get back to this old classic. So let's get started. I believe we were at the beginning of Paris. Yes, here we are, the abandoned high-rise. I think I watched Jock leave already, so let's get moving. From all the way up here, you can see the bots and some of the MJ-12 troopers. I usually take advantage of that. That should have been sufficient to take out the military bot. It was. I'm gonna wait for the troopers to settle down and then, the ones I can at least, I'm going to crank. And they will settle down eventually. So way down at street level, you see the entrance to the metro and some other buildings as well. That's a commando. I'm pretty sure we can't trank him, even if we wanted to. That's also a commando. Are there any normal troopers? Guess not. Well, enjoy Paris. Sorry I couldn't get you any closer than this. Majestic 12 troops have occupied the streets. Make your way down to the catacombs. Silhouette should have a hideout in one of the old tombs. Thought there was something up here. If I'm still holding on to any lambs, I'll just use one to blow open the door. Inside here we have a napalm canister, three flares, a crowbar, and a book. Accord de Contrat. This agreement is made between the party of the first part, the investor, and the party of the second part, the contractor, to engage in a mutually beneficial business arrangement through the renovation of the property, the property, of a kind and type to be specified below. This contract is useless, Rene. Now that the investors have backed out, I've had to lay off all 18 men. Until we can get backing, we'll just have to wait. Maintenance lift code 4003. Club La Porte de l'Enfer, 2130. Greasy green greasels, greasy green greasels. Some of that doubtless sounds strange, but the important thing is the maintenance lift code, which allows us to avoid skipping down this elevator shaft, which is a pretty big pain in the butt. So we shall head to the maintenance elevator, enter 4003, and ride it on down. I'm gonna quick save here, and then I'm get just going to go make sure there's nothing I actually need inside that elevator shaft. If we go down this way, I should turn on power recirculator and speed enhancement to avoid as much damage as possible. Construction of this building stopped during the crash of 46. <laughs> Excuse me, it's been left to the bombs. Hit it again. Ah! See, we would take damage from each of these falls, but our speed enhancement ah! dog stops that. When we get to this level, I think this is where the maintenance lift stops anyway, so. There's nothing above this point, at least. Further down, I do see some things, but <clears throat> let's explore this level first. Stairs down. I say we take the stairs up. 
Lots of cats. Lots of cats. And wine bottles. Finding this woman gets us 50 skill points. By the way, our new primary goals are make contact with the Illuminati in Paris, where the former Illuminati leader, Morgan Everett, is rumored to be in hiding, and take the helicopter to Paris, make contact with Silhouette in the Paris catacombs. I'm up to 226 skill points. Soy food, wine. I didn't know. How could I know? Let's talk to this woman. <coughs> What's wrong? I tried to stop him. I tried. Stop who? Barbara Monte Mimi. It was the contamination. And those four grizzles down there. Zero, 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 one. Stupid, stupid, stupid buzzword. That door should be locked. Contamination and mutants. Where? The sewers in the basement. I lost everybody. Except for Michelle. Sorry to hear that. Somebody should kill those ugly, those stinking, vicious... Oh, no, 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 it's too dangerous. We've got to keep that door closed. New secondary goal, kill the four greasels in the sewers, then inform the frightened woman who lives in the apartment ruins. Green, greasy greasers. Oh. Oh, and the new note is code to the sewers 0001. Too dangerous. Michelle is next. I know it. Everybody dead. 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 And the crackdown. No food for anybody. Mm. Too dangerous. Oh, I thought that was a goodie. It's not. Now from this room, you can see some stuff up above us. No need for augmentations. We can just... Get it with some good old fashioned crate stacking. There's a bioelectric cell on top of her shelves, but the real prizes are higher up. Oops. Let's try again. Come on, JC. You can do it. I have faith in you. There we go. You have to crouch before you try to jump up to the edge. When we get up here, we find... A scramble grenade. A med kit. A lock pick. And a book. The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton. That's actually a pretty good book if you haven't read it. Professor, he cried, it is intolerable. Are you afraid of this man? The professor lifted his heavy lids and gazed at Syme with large, wide-open blue eyes of an almost ethereal honesty. Yes, I am, he said mildly. So are you. <coughs> Syme was dumb for an instant. Then he rose to his feet erect like an insulted man and thrust the chair away from him. Yes, he said in a voice indescribable, you are right. I am afraid of him. Therefore, I swear by God that I will seek out this man whom I fear until I find him and strike him on the mouth. If heaven were his throne and the earth his footstool, I swear that I would pull him down. How? asked the staring professor. Why? Because I am afraid of him, said Syme, and no man should leave in the universe anything of which he is afraid. Horrible! Horrible! The French accents are almost as bad as the ones in Hong Kong. I love it. So you'll notice we have two ways to proceed down. I'm gonna check both. I know there's something in the elevator, so I will ultimately head there, but I'm gonna check the staircase first. Three flares over in that corner. There's the hazmat room. Here's where we come out if we take the elevator, so let's go take the elevator. We need to get into that general supply crate. Probably a lock pick or a multi-tool. But we are nothing if not thorough around here. Ugh!
Oh, neither. A hazmat suit. God! That might actually be useful since even though I got the augmentation because I anticipated using it, I can't actually use environmental resistance because it's tagged to F9. And if I hit F9, the video will stop recording. So, we know the code to that door is 0001. You have two ways to get out of this building to the streets. You can go through the radiated area or you can go through the sewers with the greasels. We, of course, are going to do both because there are skill points to be had along both routes. So... I don't know why I didn't pick up that hazmat suit. After declaring I needed it, I just left it sitting there. That was really stupid of me. Power recirculator and speed enhancement. Ah! I mean we can make this drop without taking ah! all these drops without taking damage. Is certainly better than using regeneration because regeneration eats bioelectric energy much faster. Oh, I think the door actually takes us through there. Never mind. I remembered them being two separate ways, but I guess I was wrong. Anyway, having two suits will still help because we have to go through a total of three times. We have to go in, take care of the greasels, come back to tell the woman the Greasels have been taken care of for a skill point reward, and then make it out the final time. So, zero, 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 0001. Not the hardest code to remember. But before entering that room, we'll put on our has one of our two hazmat suits. Search the room on this strip. Even with the suit, I've taken a lot of damage, so I'm putting on regeneration to help ameliorate it. We've got a med kit and the multi tool. And we're through. And you'll notice there's a repair bot here, so you don't really have to worry about eating bioelectric energy. Now, we got 50 skill points for making it through that room. Brings my total to 276. Now, even though animals die anyway, I'm still going to try and remain non-lethal by tranquilizing all four greasels. Ah, there's Icarus. We've been hearing Bob Page talk about him. That's his first appearance. He'll be taunting us throughout Paris and really for most of the rest of the game until we get to another big surprise at Vandenberg. Now you'll recall the Greasels take two hits to sub two shots to subdue. Heard me fall off the ladder. Let's try that again. I think I have to wait for the first dart to wear off anyway before I fire the second shot. Is I still don't really have to worry about damage. Alright. One down, three to go. Try and be a little cleaner about the others. Okay, the first start wore off. That should 
to take care of him. Alright, two down, two to go. There they are. That should be long enough. Let's track them down again. There's one. One more. And we already shot him once. We only need one more hit. There he is. Oh. And he's done. Now let's go report to the woman that the Greasels are taking care of. I'm gonna go ahead and use my other hazmat suit. God! Oh. Oh. No, how could I know? Amy, that's her name. I took care of the Greasels. Oh? Nothing can bring back their victims, but rest assured, the threat is gone. Hurrah, my kitties! Now they can go out to play and not get eaten. And can you believe the guys with the rocket tubes were afraid? Rockets? Oh, yes, the soldiers that use building number 14, you know, across from the catacombs, the old entrance, afraid of grazers. Bravery is not a function of firepower. All right, that completed our secondary goal, got us 200 skill points, which is substantial. I'm up to 476, and it also gave us a new note. Rockets are being stored in building number 14, across from the old entrance to the catacombs. Great green crazy grazers. Ah! Nobody else cared about my little kitties. <clears throat> Apparently JC is extremely heavy. You're beautiful. A beautiful person. Oh, I'm so happy. Green, crazy, grazers. Ah! All right. Now with that done... We are ready to resume battling MJ-12. Let's head through the radiated area one more time. I am out of hazmat suits. But no matter, I can just turn on regeneration, sprint through the room and then recharge at the repair bot on my way out. Oh! God! Oh! God! Oh! 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 With all four Greasels disposed of, the sewers are empty. So we can 
run around pretty willy-nilly, although when we get close to the exit, the troopers of or commandos above can hear us. So we need to be careful. We should also be thorough down here. I remember some goodies in little niches like that one. Maybe I don't. Those three hallways converge into one. Ah, there we go. A lockpick. You can hear another military bot above us. That's a pretty good cue to slow down. Another lockpick in that crate. Nothing in that niche. Now here is the exit of the sewers. This sewer shaft goes to an enclosed compound where you can find an entrance to the catacombs. Thanks, Tracer. <clears throat> we got another 50 skill points for getting to the exit. We're up to 526. And we need to be careful exiting. There's at least one more military bot and at least two commandos. I think maybe three commandos. It's busy up here. That's the moral of the story. And you don't, and you come out in a pretty exposed spot. You want to get to a better hiding place as soon as you can. Now the other bot's on the other side of the wall. You do want to eliminate the commandos. Indeed. If he comes this way, I'm gonna be in trouble. He is coming this way. Let's see if we can loop around and get behind him. There's at least... Okay, yeah. Three commandos, as I thought. Worried about that one in the middle. Tag him. Yes, here. Damn. Terminating. Hard to find that sweet spot. Contact. I've got a contact. <clears throat> yes, here. Terminating now. But we all know the sweet spot exists. You've seen me hit it before. We'll find it again. There it is. Nothing JC's interested in on that body. Okay. Now... I think this guy's gonna turn and head back down the street. Which is fine. Bag him next. Buddies heading around the other building, so that's actually perfect. Get you now. Yes, you. Terminating. You'd think with mastery and low tech weapons, this would be easier Locked for on. me, but no. Somebody mentioned that the sweet spot when you're standing up Hunter. is right Hunter. between Hunter. their shoulders, but. I've experimented with it, and that doesn't seem to be the case. There we go. Two down, one to go. Let's just roll up on the guy back here. And then we can decide whether or not we're so completionist we need to destroy the bot on the other side of the wall. I'm leaning towards no, but... Then again, what else am I going to do with my explosives? 
there's not a whole lot of game left. We've got Paris, then Vandenberg, then Area 51. Target locked. Paris is a pretty big area, but... And I guess Area 51, the last level, is really big, too, but... Vandenberg is act. Well... I say Vandenberg's little, and that map itself is, but if you count the gas station, the missile silo, and the sub base, yeah, we got a, we got a good sub game left. Never mind. There we go. That one had the key to the catacombs entrance. I have no doubt that will come in handy. So, points of interest out here. First things first, let's see what's in this crate. Tech goggles, utterly useless. We know there's a ca cache of rockets in building 14. Which is across from the old entrance to the catacombs. There's also a metro station. That building over there is the high rise where we started for the curious. As far as I know, there's no way to get out of these gates into the rest of the streets. is another bot out there, but I think it's just window dressing. I don't think it ever comes close enough to these gates to matter. Or even for us to see it. Maybe it does. I don't know. We'll do something else and we'll come back. I'm gonna go to the metro first, just because that's the only area we haven't been directed to. I like to do as much as I can before advancing the plot in any fashion. In France, MJ-12 is strong enough to operate in the open. They have blockaded this metro station. Thanks, Tracer. He has an impressive command of the obvious, doesn't he? The fact that that bot is getting away with existing is irritating me to no end. But I guess there's nothing to be done. You'll notice this fellow's a friendly. In fact, he'll sell things to us, but he Monsieur, does so. Over here. Yeah? I have something of interest. Rockets, huh? Four for 5250. Three lamps for 6750. A recoil suppressor weapon modification. 1200. Good deal, eh? Those prices sound pretty steep. The best I can do with the troops everywhere. They took over the mall where I meet my supplier. Turns out I'm not a friend of the current regime. Maybe I can help you out. Who is? We are all suffering. I tell you this. If you remove the three soldiers from the metro station next to the mall, never mind the dumb security, I will owe you a fare. Until then, the prices remain. Pretty steep prices. I'll think about doing that favor. New goal, secondary goal. Kill the three MJ-12 soldiers in the metro station next to the underground mall and report back to Defoe. Oh, I know one way we can spy over the wall. I was lamenting the fact that my vision enhancement was too low to see through the wall, but then I remembered I have Spy Drone. I'll just fly him right over the wall. We'll turn on power recirculator while we're doing it. Now then. You may remember that if we detonate it, the spy drone acts as a remote EMP grenade. I can take this bot down after all. Well, it looks like he is heading over to the gate. Oh, 
Oh, what do you know? He's gonna get in front of the gate. I can just take him out with grenades. Let's let him get over there. He's coming right over here. Why not? got one EMP grenade and six lambs. And of course, GEP rockets, but I don't think the rockets or the lambs are going to do me much good through that gate. <laughs> I may end up using my drone anyway. In a different fashion than I first tried. coming towards us. That's better. Should be able to get to it. Hey, buddy. So that was one EMP grenade. good toss of the other one ought to disable it. Oh, damn. That is not a good toss. I wonder if it works through the gate. Doesn't look like it. We're gonna have to get it over the gate. Oh, an invisible wall! like the drones are only option after all. I don't think I can get another one over there in time. Need to get my energy back up. Construction. Oh yeah, you can. You can only use one drone every 30 seconds, 60 seconds, something like that. Wow. Now, I'm too, now I'm just too slow. Slowly sciencing this out. One of the most important things is to get out in front of the robot, since our drone is much slower than it is. And that's saying something because the military bots move slow. If we just move right over the wall. It should end up right in front of him. Alright, one more. One more ought to do it, I think. I never use my bio cells anywhere else. Reconstruction will be complete in 16 seconds. right around here. Well, let's send our drone over the wall. I wonder 
why the drone can get through the wall when a grenade I throw can't. That seems odd to me. Oh no, he turns around. Save now that we've got the second shot off. <clears throat> Eight seconds. That ought to do it. Get him over the wall. Yes, turn around and head towards me. does the trick. Done. Alright. We disabled that last bot. There's... And I'm trying to think, and I really don't think there's any benefit to doing so, except satisfying <laughs> my own completionist ethos. I've taken out every bot so far, I refuse to leave one standing. <laughs> there are three soldiers we need to deal with. Oh, there's a camera there. I guess we'll deal with the ATMs after we find a way to shut down the camera. Sniper rifle ammo. Assault rifle ammo. There's a standard uh, security bot in here. Which I'll take out. I, hopefully, with this EMP grenade. <clears throat> I'll need a better better toss, but this bot can be taken out with one grenade if I land it well. Like I keep failing to do. Just need to toss it a little farther. There we go. Bots disabled, which leaves us with three soldiers to deal with. They're standard troops we can knock out with the baton. Someone's there. I can hear you. Three lockpicks nope. is too Doesn't steep matter. for event grade. It lets us sneak up on the troopers, but... It doesn't 
really let us sneak up on them anyway. Pistol ammo. Normal darts. Biocell. It doesn't really let you sneak up on them anyway. What it lets you do is bypass the bot, which we already took out. I've got a bogey, no ID. Well, there are our troopers. Yeah, false alarm, I guess. Two of them right together like that. I think we'll hit with good old-fashioned pepper spray. Watch yourself. Oh. This one's some kind of oh. mess. Oh. God. Oh. God. Why the pepper spray had no effect? I don't know. I'll try again. I can use a gas grenade. Too. Watch yourself. This. Oh. 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 Ah! There we go. Ah! Ah! Got him. We're gonna need some reinforcements. Alright, that's two down. Assault rifle, knife, and a lamb. I want no part of any of it. <clears throat> This one has a knife and a flamethrower. Both still useless to me. Let's reload my pepper gun right quick. There's one more soldier somewhere. I don't want to relax and read until he's handled. There's a medical bot there. Well, there were supposed to be three soldiers. Maybe there are only two. Got a multi-tool there. Let's hack the security computer so we can turn off the camera. Now that vent... Does it go to the same place? It looks like it should, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in there and see what I can find. Just blow it open with a lamb, that's the easiest. Don't like toting lambs around anyway. Well... Breaking the glass triggers the alarm, that's one thing to consider. And yes, it's the same shaft anyway. I just missed the branch. Okay. Well, this area is clear now, so let's read this public access terminal. Interpol wanted, J.C. Denton. <clears throat> Interpol is currently seeking the whereabouts of known terrorist J.C. Travis Denton. Denton is wanted for a number of international crimes, including theft, murder, money laundering, drug trafficking, and destruction of property. Denton was last believed to have been cited in New York, but recent information indicates that he may, be, that he may currently be operating in Paris. Denton is approximately six feet tall, with silver facial tattoos and solid blue eyes, the result of a rare genetic condition that he often conceals with a pair of sunglasses. Denton is extremely dangerous and should not be approached. Instead, if you believe you have seen him, contact your nearest police or security representative. There is currently a reward of 10,000 credits for information that leads to his capture or arrest. Interpol is also attempting to locate Alex Jacobson and Jaime Reyes for questioning in a number of related incidents. No descriptions are available at this time, but will be posted as they become available. Read me. Icarus found you. 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 Run while you can. 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 Curfew hours extended. 
due to a rise in criminal activity in the last week, <coughs> curfew hours are now extended from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Individuals found in violation of curfew may be punished with a fine of up to 5,000 credits and one year in jail. Patrolling bots are authorized to detain suspicious individuals as necessary, and residents are urged to respect instructions from a bot the same as they would a police representative. The catacombs and all surrounding tunnels continue to remain off-limits to residents. Any individual found in the catacombs will be presumed to be engaged in felonious activities until proven otherwise. Police have been sanctioned to respond to such activities with lethal force if required. Root misdirect 8009 slash root slash dot 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 misdirect colon colon 8009. 213302 file buffer overload. Re erect slash slash truthnet truthnet dot two seven three eight dot three two three four dot three. Lies truth. Citizens of Paris, did you even turn in your sleep as your freedom was seized from you? Did you hear them when they told you it was done in your name? Or did you simply wake from your dream and never question the reality of your slavery? The City of Lights has been extinguished by shadows. Our government has been taken from us. We live in fear of jackbooted troops and hulking, clanking tools of oppression, afraid to travel from one arrondissement to another. Where is the city of our dreams? The Pigalle has become the grave for our buried joy. The Champs-Élysées rings of nothing but the dirge of our forgotten hopes. We let this happen. We all let this happen. But it is not too late. We are free in our hearts and our minds, and it is there that true rebellion must begin. Look to those who would unify us only to enslave of us. Look to those who would make us rich but rob our souls. Look to those who would protect our safety by stealing our liberty. Question everything. Believe nothing. Take action in the places they cannot see and they can never conquer us. Silhouette, Minister of True Lies. Tandis qu'ils domaine nous gagnerons. I think this one is identical. Yes, it is. Now, on my way out of here, I will hack the ATMs. Two hundred credits, Yahoo. Zero credits. Well, that sucks. Now let's report success to Defoe. I took out the troops in the station. Yeah? They're dead. Now what about giving me a deal on some hardware? Dead, eh? That could mean a lot of money for me, and a discount for you. I will give you prices that are one-third of what I said before. No better deal anywhere. I'll pass for now. That completes our secondary goal. JC claims the troops are dead when they're just unconscious. Oh well. Let's tackle building 14 next. I don't think we can get in without picks or explosives, but... At this point in the game, explosives are practically a diamond. So I don't think there's anyone alive inside, so I'll just blow the door open. Explore the level I'm on first. Three picks or blow the door. Although I think there's a key to that office somewhere in here. I'm gonna hold off for now. We head downstairs. We find a sealed door that we cannot open with any of our usual means. We'll have to find the key. We head upstairs. In this office, we find a book, Petals of Twilight by Charles Francois Guillermot, and it is told that he made his way through their streets at night, crawling through their many windows and crouching in their gardens, moving through the sewers beneath their cobbled roads and slipping over their railings, watched by their cats and the roosting pigeons of their city, yet wary of their slumbering dogs, he went. They would not see him nor wake as he drew near, but would only shudder, softly calling out the names of their gods in sleep. Restless, they tossed as he passed under the window like an errant lover fleeing dawn, and by morning light he was gone, away from that place, and moved on to another world. There's a pair of binoculars up here, and a security computer will hack. Turn off the 
turn off the camera, turn off the camera, unlock and open the door. Oh, I might be able to bash open. No, 50 is too much, but it's worth one lockpick, considering there's one out in the street anyway. Or very nearby. So we find 300 credits, a multi-tool, a warehouse key, daily activity report. <clears throat> With the new government regulations, it has become almost impossible to get any work done after sundown. The Sword Muet bots will supposedly only attack known terrorists, but I do not trust them, and neither does anyone else. They all head home before dark. I stay and try to get a little, a little work done, so the American MIS woman gave me a passcode for the security system, rzelazny slash shadowjack, but it is difficult to make any progress when no one is around to give me the information I need. Well, we're well above needing computer logins and passwords, at least for security systems. But now, I believe that key will... That key doesn't open the door. Oh, we can just get in through the window. Maybe there's a key downstairs. Ah, yes. Office key added to nano key ring. Let's recharge at the bot. There's another bioelectric cell. A law. And an EMP grenade. They advertised rockets in this building. There's really only one. Law is not worth carrying. Four inventory spaces for a single rocket. No thanks. Now we can get in here. You'll notice the phone started ringing. Who's this? Everything, huh? Is that God you're talking about, or just a bunch of New Age crap? That was Icarus talking to us, in case you were wondering. And we have another data cube. Francois, the hacking attempt has been an unqualified success. I've transferred all the funds that I managed to siphon from Metropolitan before the ice came down into a dummy account. Number 2221969, password dull bill. Let the other members of the cell know that these funds can be used for any projects that the Mayhem Comité may deem appropriate. Dandy skills dormant, nous gagnerons. I'm sure my French pronunciation is terrible. I've never taken a lick of French. But I'm doing my best. Finally, we're ready to enter the catacombs. At the foot of these steps is the entrance to the catacombs. Originally limestone quarries dating back to Roman times. You get 250 skill points for coming into this building. Here's the data cube. Chad, I've been down in the tunnels trying to work out where all the government people Wojciech was talking about have set up shop. We're definitely going to have to be careful, though I don't think they've noticed us yet. Strange. Lots of the Gendarmes, but also some Americans. Overheard several of them talking as if they worked for MJ-12, but I've got no idea who that might be. Let's check out this tunnel before we leave. I don't... Ah, uh, yes, just an alternate entrance if you don't want to take down the guard to get the key. So, we shall enter the catacombs. I'll keep playing for now. I'm gonna end this segment at the end of the catacombs when we emerge to downtown Paris under lockdown. Le catacombs de Paris. Alright, let's move ahead. Uh, see, yeah, we do have a map of the catacombs. I think Tracer sent it to me at some point and I wasn't paying attention. The map is very detailed. But you see, here's our entrance. We move through some tunnels. When we arrive in Bunker 1, that's Silhouette Headquarters. Up ahead, Bunker 2 is empty. North of there are some collapsed passages. 
Over to the west is Bunker 3, MJ-12 troops. And north of all that, near the northwest corner, is the exit to the sewer tunnels below downtown Paris. The reports I'm finding indicate a siege on the catacombs. MJ-12 must be trying to drive Silhouette from their hideout. Catacombs can get a little confusing, but as I mentioned, you have a very detailed map, so you don't need to worry much. Now there's a gas grenade on this wall we'll want to disarm and take with us. I'm trying to remember what's behind and or down this little tunnel. I think it's a way to sneak up on a trooper. I don't know that for sure. There's a napalm canister. Be useless to me. Yes, there he is. Roll up on him. Something creeps me out about Hella. Oh, there too. Know. She's from high command. They're all like that. I think she really gets off being down here. Have you seen the little nest she set up in the room with the pillars? The command post? She does seem to be in her element. Curling up in a nest like a harpy. Man, I'll be glad to get out of here. Me too. I don't like tunnels. Always sounds like someone's sneaking up on you. You're more aware than you know, gentlemen. The guy in a code, that's Who it. The hell? See, it's little... It's little vignettes like that that make me think even the MJ-12 troopers aren't really oh my God. bad guys. Oh. Oh. That may be a good... I think this is another good spot for the pepper spray treatment. As someone indicated in the comments, I have found that this works really well when you have a pair of guys to deal with. Ah! 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 Although I do need to get a better initial shot to get them both. Who the hell? There. That's better. No, I certainly didn't want that. It takes forever for it to wear off if you get hit with a flamethrower. Let's try again. Maybe I'll burn a prod charge on the flamethrower guy. We'll see. Son of a... Although I really feel like I should be able to drop him without getting hit. We're pulling back. I don't mind the assault rifle shot I took. That's easily handled. Alright. Well, he had a flamethrower and some soy food. He had a combat knife and some soy food. Wonder why they have food. Maybe someone in here asks for food later. I'm gonna hold on to that. Just in case. Now if we come up here, you see this is where we disarmed the gas grenade. That was just a better approach to take care of those two soldiers. You're entering one of the larger tombs. Almost six million exhumed bodies were moved to the catacombs as a health measure during the 1700s. Pretty lucky he didn't spot me just then. Now, of course, we just roll up and take him down. Sawed off shotgun, knife, and soy food. Doing my damnedest to remember if there's a reason I need all this soy food. 
I don't really remember anything, but they don't usually put stuff in for no reason. I mean, there's food, there's food and drinks as window dressing all the time, but troops aren't normally carrying food. That seems strange to me. I hear another patroller. Oh, it's Commando. He's close. Means we will need the prod. Looks like a false reading. Let's hope for that sweet spot. <laughs> sweet. Oh, and he gave us a bio cell. Thanks, bro. What's down here, I wonder? Nothing inside the tunnel, just an alternate route, it seems. Let me try and figure out where I am exactly. I'm in this room now, and there doesn't appear to be any reason for me to be. Let's just head through that pillar room, and then we'll be at just about to the silhouette bunker. I guess that's just another opportunity to sneak past the guy. You're close to the bunker where Silhouette has barricaded themselves. The leader's name is Chad. Strange. The area looks different than it does on my map. Some new construction. Maybe they've concealed themselves from Majestic 12. So there's a lockpick here on top of the brick. Hitting the brick, of course, as usual, opens the handy secret entrance to the Silhouette Bunker. Make sure they don't fool you. 150 skill points for making it into here. Which brings my total to... 926. How did you find us? We are surrounded. We don't have much time. They are holding our comrades prisoner. We are not prepared to fight a war. We must assume the worst. They are holding our comrades prisoner. You found the bunker. We can't let them discover our hideout. They have backed us into a corner. The soldiers have occupied the entire city and now the tunnels too. There's nothing we can do against augmented commandos. There's nothing we can do against augmented command. Newspaper. Catacombs closed to public. Paris Investigateur. The government announced today that the famous Paris catacombs would be closed to the public until further notice, citing increased criminal activity and possible terrorist connections to the area. The catacombs have become a haven for any number of unseemly elements, said Inspector Gavily of the Metropolitan Police, and we are taking all necessary steps to contain this threat to the peace and welfare of Paris citizens. The catacombs are part of an extensive network of tunnels that mostly lie between the 5th, 6th, and 14th arrondissements, originally part of larger excavations undertaken by the Romans to remove valuable deposits of gypsum and limestone from the area. The catacombs themselves date back to 1786, when bones were removed from the grossly overcrowded Cemetery of Innocence to be stored in the quarries of Mont Rouge. Since that time, innumerable additional burials have resulted in the vast ossuary that exists today. The publicly accessible sections of the catacombs are only a small part of the complete tunnel system, whose many entrances and, ex and exits have made it a popular diversion for cataphiles wishing to explore the underground history of the city. Back here, we find some more people to talk to. They are holding our comrades prisoner. There's nothing we can do against augmented commandos. Who are you? I came to help. Majestic 12 took my mother prisoner. Where? Bunker 3. Chad has a key, but he says he's too dangerous to try to rescue her. I'm on my way to see Chad right now. Maybe I can change his mind. I'm afraid. What if they kill her? I think we're next. What if they kill her? Alright, let's break open this basket. Nothing inside. Let's head into the center. 
and we get 250 skill points for subject acquisition, which is Chad Dumier, who's in here. We're up to 1176. And I guess Chad's in the other room. We got, there he is. I'm JC Denton. You might know my brother Paul. I helped him send your group a warning about the crackdown. Denton? Mm, yes, the satellite transmission saved us from La Prison de Fren, at least. Pretty much a skeleton crew you have here. How long can your people hold off MJ-12? We are not mercenaries. When the troopers moved into the crypts, half of my people retreated without firing a shot. Two of them took a wrong turn and were taken prisoner. Where? In Bunker 3, the tunnels behind the second blast door. Maybe I can help you out in exchange for a small favor. I need to find Nicolette Duclair. Nicolette? What do you want with Nicolette? I need to contact some friends of her mother's. Oh yes, Beth, a great woman. Nicolette is very secretive about her mother's friends. She tells us that they are wealthy and support our cause, but they have many enemies and need to be protected. I might be able to help you, but I, I must be certain of your loyalty. You have a right to be cautious. Just point me to Bunker 3. I have the key to the blast door, which is directly across from our hideout, and a map you might find useful. Get my people back and I will put you in touch with Nicolette. All right, we got the bla a blast door key, three new goals, and okay, we already had Chad's map. So let's look at our new goals. Three new second, we completed the primary goal to make contact with Silhouette. Our three new secondary goals are, after the rescue attempt, or for some reason they're in reverse order, free the members of Silhouette being held in Bunker 3, protect the hostages as they try to make it back to Silhouette's bunker, after the rescue attempt, inform Chad of the hostages' fate. Obviously, the best way to do this is to clear out all the troops before releasing the hostage so they have a clear run back. So that is what I'm going to do. We'll finish talking to Chad in a bit, but let's see what's inside his cabinet. Oh, there's something else on top. A med kit. Inside we find another blast door key and a book. Richard III by William Shakespeare, Act 1, Scene 4, Clarence. Lord, Lord, methought what pain it was to drown, what dreadful noise of waters in mine ears, what ugly sights of death within mine eyes. Methought I saw a thousand fearful wrecks, ten thousand men that fishes gnawed upon, wedges of gold, great anchors, heaps of pearl, inestimable stones, unvalued jewels, all scattered in the bottom of the sea. Some lay in dead men's skulls, and in those holes where eyes did once inhabit, there were crept as twere in scorn of eyes, reflecting gems, which wooed the slimy bottom of the deep and mocked the dead bones that lay scattered by. Let's talk to Chad again. It's unfortunate I cannot send someone with you. There's nothing in his room. My people simply are not the best soldiers. We train teams to wire buildings with C4. They go in at night to avoid confrontation. In a straight fight against commandos, they just don't have the equipment or expertise. I can't bear to imagine what methods of interrogation Majestic 12 will use on my people. Silhouette is not a military group. Our attacks are symbolic, intended to influence the public. We publicize certain things like the Statue of Liberty bombing. It's just so fitting that the American government will destroy the gift of freedom we gave your country almost 200 years ago and then try to blame it on us. The rhetoric in Washington has done more to defeat liberty than all of the armies and police forces in the world. As an aside, I'm sure he meant almost 300 years ago since 19... well... Actually, I don't know. For, for some reason I had in my head the revolution, but maybe, the, maybe we didn't get the Statue of Liberty until the 19th century. I don't actually know that date. Comments, viewers? When government surveillance and intimidation is called freedom for terrorism or liberation for crime, freedom and liberty have become words without meanings. I know Majestic 12. When they have learned what they can, they will execute every last one of the prisoners. This war all around us is being thought over the very meanings of words. Just as Batkin described the novel as a competition between various languages, so we describe culture itself. 
which thrives upon convulsions and upheaval. Culture, by definition a shared territory of meaning, inspires conflicts far more destructive than any dispute over territory on the Earth's surface. Meaning does not exist a priori. It is order imposed by individuals with arsenals of communication devices. Every inscription, every utterance, every gesture seeks to dominate the plane of meaning. Real violence is only an extension of this process. In order to get our own message before the public, we too have been violent. We have even killed people. But it is the message, the communication event, that we target. Not a few human beings, or building, or an historical landmark. If you expect to help my people, you should get moving. This war all around us is being fought over the very meanings of words. Now, I like the character of Chad Dumier here in Deus Ex. I absolutely hate what they do to him in the sequel, but... We must assume the worst. I'm getting ahead of myself. You'll see the sequel for yourself. They are holding our comrades prisoner. The soldiers have occupied the entire city, and now the tunnels too. What if they kill her? Alright, no one's dialogue has changed yet. Time to move into the rest of the catacombs. We can now unlock this blast door and move on. Looks like a chance to take out a team of MJ-12 troopers, but use your head. We don't want the hostages getting caught in the crossfire. Let me see what I've got going here. A full loop into a room with a pillar in the middle. Okay. A hundred fifty skill points for getting through that blast door. I am now up to thirteen twenty six. I think there are two troopers patrolling around this area. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just one. It's times like this I really wish I'd gotten run silent instead of speed enhancement. Oh well. Is he just going back and forth in this hallway? Yeah, he is. Now that I know that, I should be able to get to him in time. Down you go, bud. Contact! I got contact! Uh, that always happens if I get cocky. Locked on! Funny reading on this one! JCM, terminating now! Come on, JC, hit that sweet spot! Locked on! Funny reading on this one! JCM, terminating now! You're killing me, Smalls. Locked on. Funny reading on. Locked on. Funny reading. Yes, here. Good grief. Terminating Come on. Now. Yes, here. This is getting out of hand. Now. I don't like it. There we go, finally. Alright, he had a bio cell. Good times. Get that open in a minute. Uh, we'll see if it's worth getting open anyway. No. I want you to blow it open. Well, it's worth opening, that's for sure. Throwing knives, prod charger. Agent Hella, we've added a login for you to the Catacomb Security Network. While still incomplete, it's being extended every day. We should have the majority of the tunnels completely wired within the next three months. 
login hella password Ragnarok. Again, I'm pleased to know that you and MJ12 will be working closely with us to eradicate the silhouette infestation from Paris. Please update me on a daily basis with your surveillance reports and any additional items or information you may require. Gamily. Alright, now as we head up here, we get to a fork in the tunnel. There's a flare here. Off to the right is Bunker 2, which is listed as being empty. Another World War II bunker. No sign of MJ-12. Maybe it's vacant. Chad's map list says bunker is empty, but of course we've got a bum living in here. Let's check this basket. Over here we have another vial of Zyme, which we will pick up and take with us. Remember Zyme? Let's check the center before we really talk to him. Another Zyme vial. I really don't think there's any reason for the soy food now that I think about it. I'm gonna drop what I have. Now let's talk to this fellow. Get out. How was your first? Sorry, just looking around. Aren't you afraid of the commandos? They better not come back here. I am not moving again. Right. You tell them that. At least I get away with something. Want a med kit? I stole three. Or what about those poison darts? 600 for a med kit, 200 for the darts. They move me out to make room for military supplies. Something I want to buy! That hasn't happened in a while. We'll take tranquilizer darts, absolutely. I'll take the darts for 200. Good deal. Alright, let's move on. Let me, let me see what's next. So we head up this tunnel. If I keep going north, we'll get to some collapsed passages, so I'll check those out before I turn west. And head to Bunker 3. Flare, wine. Uh, keep going north first. The old catacombs exit is at the end of this passage, but it's been closed off for years due to cave-ins. You will notice a live lamb on the wall. Let's disarm that. Take it with us. We've got pistol ammo and sniper rifle ammo if you're into such things. Now, we'll continue toward Bunker 3. Let's see. Just need to turn left at the next fork and we'll get there. That way leads eventually, well... Jock's picking up heat signatures of what look like troops. The MJ-12 bunker must be nearby. Tracer talks a lot. Anyway, that way is our eventual exit from this map. So we'll hold off on that. I'm gonna do a real save with all the progress I've made before I go tackle the bunker. That turned out remarkably well. I think I'll heal up and keep it. I just get sick of quick loading sometimes. What else did he have? More soy food, how weird. I guess these guys are down here long term and they gotta eat. So we've got some flare darts, a lock pick, a lock pick, and we need to get up on those edgings too. Let's let's do one thing at a time. Let's 
go drop this trooper. Ah, uh, this is this is the way into the bunker. Alright, let's get him when he crosses the hall. Bunker three. You going down. Silently, of course. Assault rifle, knife, and soy food. No, no, do not drop the dragon's tooth. I don't really have any use for it, but it's just too cool to throw away. Well, let's check the upper level of this room. Some, looks like some goodies over here in the corner. Pistol ammo and a data cube. It's another copy of the one we already saw. Nothing up there on the other side. This is a dead end room, so we'll explore it. Looks like we just got a, a box to check out. Let's blow it open and see if it's worthwhile. Oh, the poor rat. Flare darts, darts, and darts. I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna hold on to the lamb. Alright. Now here at the Bunker 3 entrance, first of course you'll notice the security system. We are facing this way. Let's check this other dead end room first before we proceed toward the bunker itself. <laughs> Power box. If you're wondering why they've got a repair bot sitting back there, it is because if you're smart about this, you can release the repair bot. It will repair the box, and you can move through unmolested, but, oh, come on. Wow, I think Jumping up and down on the box, or on that barrel, damaged it enough to start releasing the gas. Those barrels are in there, of course, to discourage me from simply blowing open the door like I would normally do. Which is fine. Okay. But, as you can see, there's a much easier way to get past the power box. Doesn't require the expenditure of any resources. We drop down here, and we find tech goggles and a multi-tool. Fairly useless. Oh, there's something up there, too. Twenty millimeter HE ammo. It's rare, so I guess it's always good to find some, but it's still not useful to me. Is there anything besides the repair bot in here? No. We will continue on. Now we have to find our way past the security setup. You might notice a hole in the wall behind the cross. Let's check that out, shall we? EJ-12 squads have set up a base camp in this old World War II bunker. This is probably where 
where you'll find the hostages. You can get right past the lasers and turrets into the bunker proper. Let me check my map. Yeah, I'm not really missing anything. I can check out that tunnel from the other side after I handle the sub substantial number of troops in this room. I'll do a check. We get 50 skill points for entering Bunker 3. Slicer Spike targets here. Very oh close. Boy. It's like JC won't stay crouched. Readings all over the scale. Targets here. Lock down. Funny reading on. JC's landing is going to make noise, then I'm gonna have to wait for that guy to move away. Bandit! He's close! Must have been a glitch. Now you can't. <clears throat> now, what I don't know is if they actually execute the hostages if you storm the bunker. Or if it's only a problem if you let the hostages out prematurely. But I want to err on the side of being safe. Which means... I'm going to try and keep this whole operation as quiet as possible. Oh yeah, there is a camera out there. Shoot. Alright. Let's try and get this guy's sweet spot. Target lock is not me. Let's do a scan. No dice, but... Now I know I can get in behind him, and that's all that really matters. Come here. Locked on. Funny re- Alright, well let's, let's do a... Let's do a quick save when we're closer to the takedown. I'll just make things easier. That 50 skill points brings my total to 1376. Come here. Contact! I've got contact! I hate trying to make this work. It is such a pain sometimes. It's here. Terminating now. But, as far as I know, it's the only non-lethal way to take down commandos. Contact! I've got contact! We don't want to open that door because we don't want to aggravate the camera. Target locked. All I can say is that it will work eventually. It has every time so far. If you try to do this, I recommend instead of my setup, which in retrospect was ill-advised, I recommend combat strength and run silent. There we go. Biocell. Now then. Oh, shoot. Did somebody see me? Is that the problem? No, they just somehow heard me drop their buddy. Intruder alert! Alright. This is a job for Cloak. Check your six. It could be anything. What the F? I still don't know why the alarm went off. Somebody must have seen me, and I just didn't hear the message. What a pain. Remember the briefing. Usually I... Well, that was just careless. I mean, usually... Usually you at least get a subtitle of them noticing you. Yeah, there's no way they heard that takedown. Somebody saw me, and they were just so far away that the subtitle didn't no, trigger, no and I couldn't hear them. Of course, now I'm worried that the hostages are dead. <laughs> He's miles away by now.
By the way, now you have a now you have a good sense of how crowded this place actually is. He must have seen me. Crud. <laughs> Same deal. I guess I'll go ahead and quick save if it If the hostages are dead then I can reload my real save. Check your six. It could be anywhere. <laughs> He's miles away by now. Bag this guy next. <laughs> Combat knife, soy food, and a flamethrower. I'm gonna retreat to my tunnel before I save and before I drop anything. Well, we'll drop the knife and the soy food. I don't want to carry them around. I need to search the other body too. We'll get to that. He's the one who saw me. I've got a bogey, no ID. Well, that's nice to know that's how the alarm went now. off in the first place. Drop this guy now. If we can. Terminating now. It looks like the commando is a higher priority. Visual. Unidentified suspect. We've got some breathing room now though, which is good. We need it. Looks like a false reading. Crud. Where does this guy go? All right. Let's try and get that sweet spot. Contact. I've got contact. We're gonna have to be fast too because that camera is still active. Yes, you. Terminating now. Yes, here. Terminating. Yes, here. Terminating. No, I think. Taking down the commandos trips the alarm, for whatever reason. Or at least alerts everyone to my presence. I guess that makes a sort of sense, though. I mean, all that fancy gear, they've probably got some kind of tracking device, right? I uh, know, I'm reaching. Anyway. Now let's get the last trooper. Last one here in the main bunker, anyway. He's coming this way, so we'll wait for him to turn around. We can search his buddy in the meantime. Assault rifle, knife, and soy food. Oh, goody. All right, come here, bro. <clears throat> You're it for the bunker. Bogey! <laughs> Got him in time. Sawed-off shotgun, knife, and soy food. 
Obviously, we need to disable the security before we go into the center of the bunker and free the hostages. Because they're just going to take off running when we let them out. So, let's see if we can't find a security computer. Let's wait for the camera to turn and let's creep into here. Right away, I notice another commando. I've got one of sight. Is that one of ours? And that, that would be a woman in black. We do not want to tangle with one of those. So... Let's wait until we can get that commando from behind back up and keep an eye on him. Wait for him to cross through there and then we can sneak past the camera, drop in behind him and take him down. Ideally, anyway. This ought to work. Just have to find the sweet spot. That's always tough. It would also help if I had my finger on the right key, so... He'd crouch right away like I needed to. Oh, my bio cells are maxed out again. That's good news. There are more guys up these ladders, so I'm gonna go take care of them. Peek at my map and just make certain I'm not missing anything. Yeah, we're gonna cover the whole area. Good. Another bio cell. There's the commando, he's coming back over here. Slowly but surely. Here he comes. I should be able to get him. Just got to hit that sweet spot. Which can be so hard to find. There we go. We're all filled up on bio cells. We'll stay quiet so Agent Hella doesn't hear us. She's still moving around down there. I do believe that's all of her cronies, though. There's a box of normal darts. <gasps> yep, no more cronies. Although I did just drop into the camera's line of sight, so let's be careful. Nothing else in this, this big room. I think it'll be easiest to get her while she's meditating at her security computer, so I'll wait until she turns around and goes back to that. Is that one of ours? You just turn around, sweetie. I'm not gonna kill you either. That wasn't him. I just have to be patient. Is that one of ours? Oh my. She's heading for the alarm. Oh! How foolish. Anyway, she's carrying a sawed-off shotgun, a scope, and a law of all things. I'm not interested in the law or the shotgun, and I don't think I have anything to attach the scope to either. You can swim into this room from the outside. I guess I'll show that to you. But you got sabo rounds, tech goggles, a multi tool, a sniper rifle, 
From Aston Greer to Agent Mari Hella, upon arrival in Paris, you are to interface with Inspector Gabaly of the Metropolitan Police, your operator for the duration of this mission. Aid Gabaly in any way possible to eradicate lingering elements of either Silhouette or the Illuminati. Secondary priority is the acquisition of any information concerning the whereabouts of Morgan Everett, Tracer Tong, Alex Jacobson, or J.C. Denton. Any such information is to be sent to Walton Simons directly and immediately. We have reason to believe that Denton may be traveling to Paris in, in, in an attempt to ally himself with the surviving Illuminati, a situation that should be prevented with all due prejudice. Aston Greer, Director of Security, FEMA. We've got two prod chargers. And we've got a catacomb sewer entry key, which we'll need to get out of this level. Now, let's disarm the security. Username Hella, password Ragnarok. We will turn off the cameras. We're now free to move about the bunker. He's got a bioelectric cell. We have searched all the bodies. There is one other thing we need to do, though. We need to disarm these lasers, or else our hostage, our hostage friends will trigger them. At a cost of two multi-tools, I don't really mind. Now this does eventually make its way all the way back to Agent Pella, but it's a long tunnel. You'll need to have a very high swimming skill to make it through. I'm, I'm just doing this to make sure there's nothing else down here. JC will start drowning any second. Yep, that's it. There's nothing nothing else down there. Nothing good. With that done... Let's see. Good. I can pick this guy up and move him away. I do not want to use two lockpicks to check out that box. I would rather... Oh, well, with that barrel there, I may still need to... Let's just blow it open and see if it's worth it first. barrel didn't even explode. What do you know? So in here we've got, ooh, a multi-tool, a reload mod, and get rockets. I'd say that was worth it. Can put the reload mod on my crossbow. Reload is down to 1.2 seconds. All right, what was the other thing I wanted? Oh, I wanted the multi-tool. Thought there was one in here. Yes, there we go. All right, finally, let's free the hostages. They now have a clear path to the exit. This is what we've been working for the whole time. So we get, we complete the secondary goal for, the first secondary goal for coming in here. We get 250 skill points. And then the hostages just run for it. That 250 brings me up to 1626. So let's just follow them back to the silhouette bunker. You want to keep both of them alive, you actually get extra skill points for doing so. See, if we hadn't disabled those lasers, they would have tripped the alarm and the turret would have unloaded on them. And that would not have been good. I have no idea why they programmed the woman to run so much slower than the man. Sexism, maybe. But they should both make it back with no problems, since I completely cleared the tunnels.
They have to get to the back of the bunker before it counts them. Thank you, sir. I owe you my life. That completed our other secondary goal. I need to look at something real quick. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Let's talk to the hostages first. They were going to execute us! I will get revenge. We made it! They were going to execute us! I can't find the words. All I can say is thank you. Now it is time to regroup. Now it is time to regroup. Now I think everyone's dialogue has changed. They're back. Silhouette may yet survive. You're a brave man. We are grateful. We are grateful. Thank you for saving our comrades. Now we have a chance. We salute your courage. We will not get caught by surprise again. Now we have a chance. Merci, merci. Thank you, sir. I thought they were going to kill her. Merci, merci. They're back. Thank you for saving our comrades. All right, let's talk to Chad now. I freed the hostages. Wonderful. Where are they? Both of them made it to the hideout safely. I made sure of it. Excellent. I cannot believe our good fortune. Now, you wanted to contact Nicolette? Yes. You might catch her at Club La Porte de l'Enfer. I tried to tell her it's not safe, but ever since her mother's assassination, she has been careless. She goes out every night as though daring the assassins to show their faces. A silhouette hangout? Among other things. But you can't get there at night. The roads are blocked. What about the tunnels? The catacombs do not go that far. You might try the sewers, though. They can be reached through the rear blast door. Is it locked? Unfortunately, MJ-12 closed it before the raid. Maybe you can find a key on one of the soldiers. I already picked up that key. Thanks again for the help. Alright, that completed our secondary goal and got us a whopping 500 skill points since we saved both hostages. That takes me up to 2126. Our new primary goal is find Nicolette Declare. She is known to frequent Club La Porte de l'Enfer. Nicolette has been somewhat mysterious about our reasons for supporting us. I do not pretend to understand her. Through her mother's estate, she has provided Silhouette with immense amounts of funding. I'm reluctant to believe her patronage is entirely benign. What inclines me to trust Nicolette, however, is that her mother's death six months ago, her fairly certain, was the work of Majestic 12. I wish Nicolette would be more sensible. She should find a place to hide and stay there. This war all around us is being thought over the very meanings of war. We will not get caught by surprise again. Yeah. All right. Now we can sprint all the way back past their bunker, although with a successful rescue under my belt, I'm going to make another real save. And move right along. I'm going to end this section once we get past the catacombs. Oh, crud, where am I now? I think this is the way I want to turn, yes. Now I want to go straight, and I'm back in new territory. Yes, yes, here we go. This passage goes to the sewers. If you don't mind the sludge, you'll be able to get around the city without a metro pass. Fifty skill points for getting through there. I'm up to twenty-one seventy-six. look like there are any troopers. Another newspaper. Police raid catacombs. Paris investigateur. 
Earlier today, the police raided the catacombs, entering through Denfert Rochereau, Port Royal, Trocadero, and a number of other unidentified locations in an attempt to round up elements of the terrorist group Silhouette. Sources within the Metropolitan Police Department indicated that since the institution of martial law, the number of terrorist incidents has declined, but Silhouette still remains active in its so-called campaign of true lies. Far from being a harmless group of reactionaries, Silhouette presents a clear and ongoing threat to the public welfare, said Inspector Gabali, currently leading the case. Despite extensive surveillance prior to the raid, however, police found minimal evidence of Silhouette's presence, instead capturing a number of drug dealers, prostitutes, and other suspected criminals. All in all, we consider the operation a success, insisted Gabali. We've made a strong statement that Paris, above or below, will not be a haven to radicals and thieves. Another 50 skill points brings me up to 2226. Let me see, those are the sewers. That's also, uh, there's just a lockpick sitting in here. I think the map change happens up here. Alright, there we go. I We got a new secondary goal to meet Jaime at a cafe in Building 19, but I'm going to call that a section. So, that was Denfer Rochereau and the Catacombs. Next time on Let's Play Deus Ex, we'll tackle Paris under martial law. We'll visit the Champs-Élysées. I will see you all then. That's it for now. Bye-bye.